video tutorials. In this video I'm just going to show you how you can combine custom shapes with gradients to create some interesting textures, in particular sort of like sort of this sort of design here. Now I'm just going to quickly show you how to start this and I'm just going to quickly go over here to the custom shape tool and I've got some polka dot designs here. These ones are from graphic extras and I'm just going to apply them as a pixels to a new layer. Now new layer and just add using the custom shape tool just drag that like that now of course you could use any number of other dots you could just quickly add your own dots just go over here to ellipse tool and just add some additional dots there if you wanted to just add some dots don't have to go exactly with that polka dot like design but anyway I'm gonna go back just to quickly show you now next thing to do is just go to the magic wand and just select there and go to the gradient tool select the array option and just select the default gradient that one there now just drag that and i'm just going to drag it at different angles so you can just create a sort of sphere effect there and then just go to another one and just do the same now got a number of ones there obviously i could go through all those but i'm not so i'm just going to quickly remove that what I'm just going to do, I've just already created it earlier over here and just in the library, so I'll just drag that across. Now, there's the actual finished result. Of course, you could do it any number of combinations different ways, and also, you can, what you can do, of course, you can resize those maybe not the other direction, but certainly you can resize it to make it smaller. And then, what you can do, you've got the view and snap, snap to, and layers and guides just quickly. Hold the alt down and you can just you see that you can just create a maybe a larger design very simple like that right, snap to there now once you've actually got that design and you could fill obviously the whole document you could just repeat that numerous times what you can then do of course is just go to the gradient tool again now at this point you can't actually do anything so you have to go to the background and you can just quickly add the design there just quick gradient of course you don't have to play at that point you can position it at any different position right something like that once you decided that's what you want to do you can actually then of course flatten it and you can apply various effects blurs maybe camera raw filter to add some color and blur gallery for some interesting again interesting blur effects as well as filter gallery and much more hope you found this of interest thank you much